आपका मिस्टर समर आर स्टूडेंट्स गेटिंग आउट ऑफ कंट्रोल नाउ Thank you for having me. Number one, I would not uh, go into that issue of the students. The students are students because they had had organized this revolt, and that this monsoon revolution is definitely has to be credited to the students. Now, of course, the students have some limitations which you have to understand, but the constitution is something very different. So there is, a, of course, the understanding that the impeachment of the president has to be done by Article 52. and if you have to do the impeachment against the president for stating something which they didn't like it has to be again has to be uh, submitted to the speaker the speaker of the parliament the speaker of the parliament has to dissolve so you cannot bring a impeachment against the president right now so the only thing they have left is is organizing protest so their their message has already been been heard and their message has already gone to the authorities but the interim government had not Someone is cabinet meeting, so therefore there is no version from the Dr. Muhammad Yunus interim government regarding the uh, about the president's whatever resignation. Or you cannot even even ask the president to resign because if you have to resign, then the next uh, president has to be elected by the parliament. So there is no parliament right now. Over to you. so there is no parliament basically you're saying there is no parliament but the sort of pressure that the students are bringing another development has happened that the bnp has very vocally spoken against it they have taken a diff very different yeah. position on this matter the bnp so why has that happened you're very right i mean I, again going back to because possibly the bnp was in power they understand what is the constitution so if you if you, there will be definitely a vacuum if the president is kicked out or has been asked to resign or forced to but you cannot impeach the president uh, for for a, for not committing a crime and you cannot do that until there is a physical and a mental incapacity of the president that the president can state something which is and the president do have according to the constitution has immunity against against whatever he had done or said or has committed that is only the parliament will have to have to decide that the uh, the president has to be removed to an impeachment and again you need two third majority so, and obviously saladin ahmed who first stated this when he came out of the of the dr news meeting had mentioned this very well and i am i am not surprised but it is very uh, i would say they are very aptly have mentioned about the constitutional vacuum Mr Samad before i go to ambassador secret do you think that this government is moving in the right direction fulfilling the mandate which is to organize a election a peaceful transfer of power and not dabble in other issues other than elections well i have said this uh, multiple times in your show that the there the this is not a caretaker government and the caretaker government is missing in the last uh, constitutional reform so is article 13 has to be has to be restored which is now in the process article 19 is 13 is likely to be restored because there is a petition that has already gone to the supreme court only yesterday so obviously it will take little more time once the caretaker government is restored then only the interim government will get a legal empowerment number 1 number 2 then the in, in legal caretaker government will have to go about holding an election but interim government cannot hold an election that there is nothing in the past. there's nothing called the so called interim government and 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 the caretaker government is of course been scrapped by by previous government shekhasina